Hello gamers of the Gamer Board. Let me fix my deck tracker and we'll get right into it. So I'm sorry about a video not going up today. Um, I thought I had one more, but guess I didn't. Uh, so we'll continue the ranked climb, finish at rank 12. We're going to continue the deck, uh, the priest deck I'm currently playing with. I am uh, 12 and 6 with. For some reason, let me fix this. There we go. It is now showing. I think I was testing something with the Druid deck. Anyways, so yeah, the goal is to play 37 games of ranked with this deck and see what win rate I can get. The biggest tip I've found, the best advice I have for this deck when playing it, is play curve, play tempo, and do not play greedy. Number number one fucking rule. Those are all combined, by the way. That's one rule, yes. And I'm out of breath because I just worked out, and... Long, long days of school lately, I'm sorry guys, if I have been messing up the daily uh, series and stuff, but I also, I didn't put up a Minecraft video today, I think I'm going to take a break from playing that Minecraft, uh, Minecraft pack, because honestly, it's been a little bit of a, of a struggle finding things to do in it. Sure, I could continue just to make the ME system and do all the normal Minecraft stuff for modded, but to be perfectly honest, I don't really care for it right now. Um, so I'm not going to be putting it up right now. And uh, we're going to do the things that I really do enjoy playing, which are uh, Hearthstone, one of the best things I love playing, because it's by yourself against other people. Um, and that ma the Mad Pack 3, of course, that I am still enjoying. I have been thinking about doing uh, an, like uh, a quest map, like you have to do all the quests in order and stuff. But oh, this is fucking handlock. Uh, the only thing about that is um, it it'd be a lot. And it might be really slow in the beginning, and people might not enjoy it because it's similar to, like Skyblock in the sense of it takes a long time to to get anywhere. So I don't know. Killing the ancient watchers so he can to use it later to AOE my board. Since I know what this is, it is the safest option. Uh huh. That sucks. Oh, I could steal its health. Holy shit, I'm gonna have a big Vulgin. The spirits be restless. My fate is sealed. Nice. I should really start going face though, because I won't be able to win if I don't go face. This is playing not greedy though, is clearing. Greedy would be going face, letting him build a board and just losing. I it might actually be the right idea to play control, even even though I'm into a handlock. Because I have the Shadow Word Deaths. Now I have Shadow Word Pain into a Sludge Belcher, which is amazing. Tempo play is to play the Dark Cultist and not heal my guy for one health. The one health is irrelevant because the way that this thing dies is a siphon soul anyways, or a silence. Silence into dark bomb, silence into hellfire, etc. Um, I think it's worth to just kill that, heal my guy, play the wormrest agent. So it'd be kill it, heal, actually I'll play Blackwing Corruptor for uh, curve and tempo. This guy's hand costs like nothing, and it's nine cards, so he could play a mountain giant for like two mana. If he taps two mana, I think he has to have ten cards for it to be three, and then because he had the the emperor, it'd be two. In a long day, woke up after doing like hours of homework, then. Had uh, had to go to class, three-hour lecture on economics. I won. 
If you guys didn't know, I'm 21. Sorry. What the hell happened? So he played Twilight, tapped, and uh, that's a misplay because he could have had one extra card for the Twilight because he only had nine. Are you mocking me? The play is this. My fate is sealed. Here come the fruit. <laughs> We're on our way to win the game. Hellfire to kill only one thing. Mortal coil to kill another thing. I can get him down. Oh, okay, I can't do anything. Well played. Holy Nova. Holy Nova actually allows me to do a pretty funny play. I don't think it'll get much more value than healing my whole board. A lot of health. I actually think it, it would have been worth to heal it out of Hellfire range, but let's just hope he doesn't have it. Double Shadow Word Death into this turn is is massive. I might just win the game because if he doesn't have a Taunt Giver or um, a second, like he needs a lot of big guys. Uh, that's a good boy. Okay, so I still have the Shadow Word Death play. So he's running Malganus. This might be the Doomguard Warlock. Okay, well end your fucking turn. Holy shit. He keeps doing this. Well played. Sky, man, end your fucking turn. You have one mana. There's legit nothing this guy could do for one mana. The light shall burn you. Maybe he did see. So Is to shadow word death that black wing corrupt your face and heal myself. I thread in lethal. The other way, I don't have a dragon in my hand anymore. Anything that I draw with dragon synergy is a waste because there's not a single one that would help me get the other one to have its effect, etc. Um, I guess Twilight Guardian needs a dragon in the hand. Dragonkin needs a drag. Whatever. Uh, just say not that. Not Dragonkin. Um, worm rest agents on a dragon twilight whelp needs a dragon etc I guess he DC'd so we got our win My oh he's here look at that so I guess the hope would be that he trades and it drops Malganus or the doom guard yeah. that's fine I wonder if he's even running mountains then Draw first before I shadow word death it. Threat and lethal.
Since again with no other card I have lethal. On board he has no way to stop me. Uh, that's pretty good. If he had a heal he would probably have played it so by now. Possibilities. Out of both Shadow Ward deaths so in a difficult spot. I hope I get my Ysera soon that would be great. Here he goes taking a fucking hour for a turn again. Like realistically if he doesn't have a way to answer the board he has to tap. And that gives away he doesn't have a dark bomb. Uh, there's the Malganus. So the wrong one dropped off the fucking thing. Holy shit. Fuck. That's so bad. Alright. Sir Drake. It didn't matter what I buffed. Are you fucking me? I'm just setting myself up for the win. Three Paparinos. It's not good for me. I need a Holy Nova. Or Ysera. Or Velens. I have a lot of outs. So yeah, Power Word Shield is fine. Velens is good. Holy Nova. So it's a 3 out of... Like, what? 6 or 7? 3 out of 6 or 7? Oh wait, I can see how many cards are left. 11. Okay, yeah. So 3 out of 11. <laughs> Uh, 25% chance of drawing lethal for the current board. Have to trade the Northshire Azur Drake, then Velen, the last guy, or Holy Nova, or um, actually, if I hold it, yeah, Holy Nova is like super lethal because I get four damage from it, so it kills Mel Ganis, I kill it with Northshire, I mean, and then kill him. So now I have no out for lethal Mel Ganis. Uh, Yasir is my best option. So the obvious play would be to right kill away. off the Alganus, kill this, play Twilight Whelp, and then Ysera so the Twilight Whelp has extra health. The only thing that would really fuck me is like twisting Nether. Since it's now- I can't believe I'm out controlling a fucking handlock. That's crazy. That's crazy. I think it's actually worth it to Velen's. <laughs> Velen's. The Ysera. To kill the Lothab. Wait, do I have lethal? 10. <laughs> Damn it. I don't think it's. Is it worth it to get him down? To basically lethal? No. Might as well do the safe play. Just this. There's really no point in doing that, but whatever. There we go, double Emerald Drake. I can't believe I out controlled a handlock. I, I thought I could though. I really did. I believed in the power of the deck, being able to out late game a handlock because of Shadow Ward deaths and stuff. And that means that I pretty much just control the entire game, which is crazy. <laughs> See, if I went face, he wouldn't have been able to tap for the Dark Bomb there, but I think that's irrelevant. Just controlling the board at this point in the game, it'd be really, <clears throat> it would be really greedy to, uh, to go face and leave up two minions because of the volatility of uh handlock and what it could uh Shields could have. I get him down to one and then he your axes, that would really suck. For example. And then he gets to choose the trading and he might actually end up winning the game. Let me change your mind. Because of a stupid mistake I made. So now even if he Draxes, he loses.
especially. You can't do anything with Draxus other than maybe um, Draxus and uh, Hero Power if it was if it was uh, mana cost reduced. You win. Yay! I think I played really well. Pretty happy with that. 68% win rate. I also have an arena run that I wanted to look at. So yeah, I have an arena run. I just want to show this to you guys. I have three secrets. Okay. My curve is fucking retarded. I have so many one drops because of the secrets. So I only have two real one drops, okay? My two drops is an Argent Protector and a Fairy Dragon. Meaning, this isn't a two drop. This is like a staple to another one or two drop. And this two drop... <laughs> has no synergy with the deck other than maybe this. It's like really, really retarded. And uh, so I have double Sword of Justice, so the epics are real. I got a muster for battle, can't complain. Seal of Champion, one of the best commons in um, Arena for Paladin, along with the Murloc Knight. Um, so my three drops are solid-ish. Um, four drops are crazy. So I have a True Silver, a Blessing, double Consecration. Okay, then I have the greatest late game ever. So all these four drops, five drops. I've entered the Colosseum, another epic. I got Mysterious Challenger with three secrets, another epic. And I got North Sea Kraken, can't complain. Just want to show that to you. Um, yeah, so I have a five and one Paladin Arena that I'm pretty happy with overall. We'll play another ranked, and I might finish that arena in, uh, in the next video. We'll see. And then I could start another arena. I've been doing arenas with my gold every now, uh, every time now, because I think it's the most efficient way uh, to use your gold when you can guarantee more than three wins. Even sometimes two wins is fine, really, if you have the time. And the whole point of it is for fun for me. It's a lot of fun. I'll keep the uh, power word shield in this matchup. Because it's a good uh, extra help to help something survive or, so or whatever. Uh, I think I'll save coins since I have a decent late game. I have nothing to really play if I coin out Shrinkmeister. So, whatever. Put this apple on your head. Uh, so if I Shrinkmeister here, they just d kill each other. Uh, Wormerous Agent is obviously the better option because uh, it gets a, the extra taunt and extra damage, so it'll kill this and survive with one health, which you'll have to use his hero power on. I actually had an idea today when I was going to play, but that handlock was just taking so long to play. Um, before every play, when I was about to make a play, I was going to say wait and then think about the other options and what I could do. So realistically, the other options were to play this coin out power word shield which would have survived to that and he wouldn't have been able to uh, hero power or anything he would have had to still trade so it might have been the best option to do that um, now because I didn't do that so let's wait let's think about this I can coin out the twilight guardian but then my next turn I have no four drop uh, so I'd have to like shrinkmeister combo hero power heal back uh, this will not get the extra damage or taunt because I didn't I don't have a dragon. The other option is Shrinkmeister and they'll probably trade. Uh, so I could Shrinkmeister Power Word Shield, which I think is stronger because I'd like to save my dragon synergy. I also get to mill through my deck with the power word shield to hopefully get more cards. I got a Dark Cultist and with that uh, it's not useful. Right now. I think it was the better play. I serve the Ow. Will he trade? He might not have to if it goes uh, to the minion. Oh my god. 1-1. One, one. Fuck! That sucks. So I need to get a dragon. Okay. So I'm just gonna Twilight Guardian. Play the curve tempo play, which is just playing the biggest minion I have, and hoping. So if I had played Twilight Guardian that turn, 
it would have been better because it had extra health. Whoops. But then I wouldn't have had coin. Coin is irrelevant right now though. Because I'm losing on board so heavily. Uh, I guess I should have coined it. I guess it was the greedy play, not what to do. coining it what out. To do. I didn't expect him to have Flamewa Waker into... What the hell? Wow. Your mind. I could have fully nova but it didn't do anything, if you think about it. It kills the Flame Waker and the Knife Juggler and leaves the Mana Worm at one health, so it's the exact same board, except instead I don't have uh, the Cabal and I don't have the Flame Waker. So I think I have to start healing every turn. It's my only chance to win this game. Which would mean that... Realistically, I would want to attack this, pop this, and then Holy Nova. Well, that sucks. But uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be regretting, regretting that. Focus, man. Wow, the animations, please. Oh, it's dead. Okay, cool. Thanks. So, uh, since he didn't have lethal last turn, because he played the guy, I don't think he'll have lethal this turn either. Since one extra mana doesn't make a difference for the thing, unless he top decks. So now I get to do another Holy Nova with a heal this time, so I'll have... Uh, I'm not Holy nova that. Oh, actually. Let's think about this. I need to do five damage on top of that. So I could... Good Shadow Word Death I must on this guy. Whoops. I mean, Velens. But I would want a Shadow Word Death first. So therefore, I want to attack with everything I'm going to attack with except for the minion that's getting Velensed. Right away. Okay. That's what I thought. Um, I actually want to heal. I can't leave myself at fireball ping range. Just in case. The might of oh my god. Wait, do I have lethal? Five. I had I had lethal. I well, that's if the bolt from this went face out of one. In, it's a 50-50 twice, so it could. I, I it wasn't a guarantee. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, then the play is Velens this and heal this. Now I have to hope that the uh, arcane missiles doesn't kill me. He would need four bolts to hit my face, plus hero power, plus fireball. Four bolts, so he's shooting nine, and in a he has a twenty-five percent chance of them. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. He's not even trying it. Then I win. Cool. I think he's gonna do it anyways, just to see what happens. Yep. Yep. 
Yeah, he needs four out of six now. Well, actually five out of six, and none are going face. This is what happens when you guys go face. You get someone really low, and you can't finish them off. So you just lose. Fireball me. Fireball me, you fucker. Yep, there it is. I knew it. So the whole time I'm scared of fireball? That's why. He had it. Fucking knew it. You don't shoot the fireball because you don't want to give away that you could lethal them with just a ping after. So you save the fireball, hoping that they make a mistake and lower themselves too much. One more game of priest for the quest. And uh, now I'm on a win streak, so one more win, I'm in rank 10. I expected this. Taking a break and coming back, um, the the rank ladder would be more settled out, and the let's just say better people are at higher ranks now. And the worst people are now around this rank, and therefore I'm versing crappy people. Um, they're still obviously pretty decent because they're getting close, but uh, these games compared to about a week ago. It's a lot easier. So I expected to just win like crazy. Is someone injured? It's like near the end of a season, it, it, it gets really easy to get around rank five at least because um Greetings. the people the people suck more. Right away. I'm not sure why I played this against a priest. I don't really need the draws in this deck, so Wow, and he has Dragon Synergy. I think I lose the, uh, the, the curve. The draw has just not been very good for me. Getting this as my opening hand with Northshire, like, I would have preferred a Twilight Whelp. I would have preferred a Shadow Word Pain for this guy. So bad. This is a pretty good top deck. But it dies to Shadow Word Death pretty hard. It's pretty good too. So I could Blackwing Corruptor. Or I could just Holy Nova for three. I guess I'll just Blackwing for curve's sake, because this is stronger on the board than the Holy Nova's effect. As well, Holy Nova will have more value later. Holy Nova, nice. Well played. You well played me about my well play. This is just curve's sake, I don't really care about I could have a Zerdraked. It's just stronger to play curve, tempo. Uh, I had six mana, so I played six. Cards equivalent to six. A uh, Zerdrake, oh my god. I got a Shadow Word Death. Think this is where I'll a Zerdrake. Got a Northshire. I won't play it. Um, think I'll kill it. Heal my guy. Since in priest board control is extremely important, especially in a Zerdrake, Holy Nova is pretty ridiculous. A Zerdrake Holy Smite, OP OP. I must consider. <gasps> I like this time that I get to just spend with you guys and uh, and do YouTube. It's fun. So the play is Northshire Heal. That changes a lot. Um, so I have a few. This is one of those turns where you say, "Wait, let's run through the plays." Holy Nova, how effective is this? It kill. It lowers this to one and three. I still have to trade. Which is irrelevant, unless I do this and it heals, and then I get the draw, and I can heal more and draw more. It's actually a really strong play, and I draw like three cards. Okay, or I could Cabal and heal. 
If I cabal, I steal this. I have a 4 5 2 4. Kill this off, but I lose my dragonkin. And I have the Holy Nova still. I wonder. I think the cabal. Oh, but I draw three cards with the Northshire play. And I don't think I get a better play than that. Okay, we'll do this. Alright. I don't know. There were options. I didn't have to do that. I could have cabaled and healed and been happy because well I clear played. his board and I get the 2-4 um, the taunt. But I think that... I don't know. Maybe I should have played cabal. That over death is amazing. See, Chromagus is good when you can, um... When you can actually immediately play Power Word Shields. Nine mana is better, and you Power Word Shield and you draw two, and you, or you draw one and it doubles, and that's a lot stronger. Uh, we'll draw some more. We'll play some Twilight Wolves. And we'll take over the game. So, yeah. See, I could have Yasura there and been greedy and just left up his or traded for his Chromagus with my entire board. But so this was stronger, and I was hoping to try to go for a Shrinkmeister. I didn't get it. That's really bad. Um, if I got a Shrinkmeister, I could have Shrinkmeistered into a uh, Cabal, which is the biggest counter to most priests that I've ever um, so I have 5, 9, 12 damage. Wow, it's my entire board into this thing just to kill it. That's crazy. Well, I'm gonna do it. And then... Do my own. And just hope to god he doesn't have the, um... The combo to take mine. Well, at least I can Nightmare. Wow. Shadow Ward Death. It's okay. Let's draw first. Wait. I could also just black wing face. Saving the dragon. Because how many more dragons do I still need synergy for? Yeah. Okay. So. Better word death. Black wing face. I can't heal myself. I almost healed him. That was a misplay. Okay. A six twelve is a pretty big deal. You have to you have to kill that. The only other card I think I could use a Cheddar Word Death on is his um is that and another thing. Alright. Thank you. Alright, and we'll save the Nightmare for lethal this turn. So logically he'd have to kill the uh, Blackwing to stop me from having lethal. I have then 11 damage, he heals himself, I'm off by 4, which is the damage of Nightmare. I think I have it. I think I got the win against c Control Priest, which is kind of crazy because no my deck is. Oh, he combos. Are you nope. Taunt. Yep. I have Shadow Word bit of Pain. And well played. Oh, he did the greedy heal. Holy fuck. BM'd him because he's a bitch. Alright, I was 5 over lethal, so even if he healed, I was fine. I had the damage. Um, 71% win rate, 15 and 6 with the deck. Pretty freaking happy with the results from this deck. Um, this is kind of... I, I could have a higher win rate. I just did really bad in the early stages of learning the deck. That's one of the biggest things is learning it. Now that I've learned it, 
Oh my god, the stuff I can do with this deck. It's definitely not aggro. It's barely anti-aggro. It sure does work as anti-aggro, but this thing can out control like so literally any deck. I've been I I've beaten control warrior handlocks, control priest, everything. Everything with this deck. Hope you guys enjoyed as much as I do. Leave a like if you guys like the deck. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Leave some comments in the com comment section below about those games, and if you saw any plays that I didn't say, but probably was thinking about, take care.